come on, let's talk about the flat earth then. Well, come on, you're the specialist. You know about the flat earth. You know my views. <laughs> watch something that's outraged you you've put in a big old comment what was he saying it was round or flat the video was called um flat earth what a load of dummies or something it was called basically it's about um he's watching a video about these these group of people and they did a rocket test and they put a camera on a rocket and they launched it and it went up as far as a hundred thousand feet or something something like that and as it was going up, it was spinning and spinning until it just stopped, like it hit a dome or something. Just stopped dead. And they could see around and it looked completely flat. Now he's saying that that's all fake, basically. And he was like making fun out of them and everything. Calling them dummies, stupid. He's just making the people look stupid, basically, with all their comments to this certain video. And I thought, well, has this guy actually done any sort of research on the subject at all to have an, an opinion on it to call them crazy or, or probably not dumb. he's probably done about as much research as i have as where he's just believed the earth is round and gone that is the way it is it's ridiculous to be flat oh no because you only believe right what the government and what you've grown up in school, like we've been brainwashed to believe that the Earth is round. Now, back sense. in the ancient, back in the ancient times, now I'm not very religious or anything, but in the Bible it states that the Earth was flat. The Bible's full of all kinds of stuff that don't make sense. That's true. That's now, true. I'm very open-minded. I mean, I'm on, I'm on the edge of this flat Earth thing, but I've seen stuff that's made me question, question it. Like one, there was one guy. He stuck up a, a video of him filming the sun, and I'm not being funny or nothing. But the sun, there was clouds going behind the sun as it was setting. Now, how is that possible? There was clouds in front of the sun. There's clouds behind the sun, and oh, it I don't know how he's managed to record the sun in such a degree that you'll be able to see clouds in front and behind it, because the sun's a bright, bright old thing in the sky. So. If I put any camera towards the sun, I can't see nothing. I'm sure it ain't the moon. Well, no. I mean, we can put up a link. What? So people, other people can see it. Right, we'll, we'll put up a link. I'd like to click on that link to see it myself, if I'm honest. <laughs> but I could go right now to look at the sun. Yeah. And, with my camera, and you'll just see a load of white, because it's so bright. I wouldn't be able to define if there's clouds in front or behind it. You can't even look at the sun. Oh no, I've spilled my well, tea. Well, I don't know how he's done it. I'm not an expert at cameras or anything, but... Sorry, mate. I've spilled my tea on my fucking lap. <laughs> it's a big old puddle. Looks like I've wet myself. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, so, what else? Besides the clouds? Because, yeah. you know, that could be, could be all sorts. Going on to another subject now. It's well, hang on a minute, we're not quite finished. Well, <laughs> it no, it's things. the same subject, but it's just branching off a bit. Now, not too long ago, the Russians have posted a picture of the clearest image of Earth. And they even got a video of it spinning. Okay. Right? And when you look at this picture or image or video or whatever it is, I'm not being funny or nothing, but it looks fake. Right. Like all the other pictures that NASA post up, they all look fucking fake. But NASA's got nothing to do with the Russians. No, I'm talking about what NASA's pictures of the Earth they've stuck up. And then Russia have what? claimed this is the clearest image of Earth that anyone's ever seen, and it looks fake. I mean, what do you think? I mean, have you, I know you haven't done enough research into it as I have or you've you haven't seen enough videos but but some people are claiming like there's no curvature you can be like some guy was at the top of a mountain and you could see New York in the distance right and he's saying why ain't the 
that was like 60 miles apart. Right. right. And he's saying, why ain't the Empire State's building slightly curved over? Should that be slightly bent or something? Well, you know? Because it's going over the curve, right? Yeah, but the curve wouldn't, the, the curve, curve wouldn't it. make the building not bend, would it? It would just make the it building would, would it? because it's going over the curve. No, right, if I'm looking at it directly on, like I'm sitting here, there's the building. Yeah. Yeah, let's try and visualise. I'm you're sitting here. I'm there's the earth. Yeah. Uh, there's the earth. Now this yeah. this bottle's over the curvature, so all it's going to do is come over there. It's still straight. Hang on, my perspective ain't right. There we go. It's still straight. Like the lines there and there, they're still parallel. Yeah, it's not going to suddenly go that way. No, that's what I mean. It's going to go. It goes like that. It's going to go over, ain't it? But he's saying that where he was stood on this uh, mountain top or wherever he was, he's saying that the Empire State's building was as straight as anything. Like there was no curvature whatsoever, and it's sixty miles. Of curvature there. Right, but then you've got all the elevation in between, right? Now, New York's pretty flat, as far as I'm aware. Um, whereas a mountain is up, right? The mountain, it's a mountain, for Christ's sake. It's not going to be fucking yeah, under, but... lower than New York, is it? So, right, like, let's say there's New York and a mountain. The mountain is fucking higher up. So, already, your perspective from there to there is above the curvature, the line of curvature. So, if you was there, you'd definitely see the curvature. Right, because you're up there, the curvature. You see, see what's happening there? It's not. You've distorted your own curvature there because you're higher up. He was probably higher than the Empire State Building to begin with. Mm. So he's looking down on it for one. But it's like it's like people have done this test on the water where, you know, when you see a boat go over the curvature and it goes down like this, yeah. it starts. The boat starts coming down like this yeah. until you can't see it at all. Right? Well, they're saying that if you get binoculars out, the boat will come back again. If you if the boat goes out the sight of binoculars, if you get a telescope out, you'll see it again. This is what these people are claiming. Now, I haven't done it myself. Right, hang on a minute. I believe that's to do with the the light bending. Flect reflecting. Uh, well, I wasn't saying it was reflecting. I was to say it was um, distortion of light throughout through the air and stuff. Because even though the light travels in a straight line, yeah, it does get distorted. In um, like for example, if you 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 know when you put like something in water, you don't see it straight down. It's sort of like it's, it goes in there, and then all of a sudden it's coming off at an angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's because the water's distorting the the light, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when yeah. you're looking at something from that distance, yeah, the distance ain't got nothing to do with it. It's the way you you see it. The um the light would be is being bent. So you're you're technically you're you're sitting there, you are actually looking around a curve because that's the way that you're looking through the light. Well there's, there's no way to prove either way, right? For us. Oh no, the only way the only way to prove it is if NASA got off their asses, right? Turn that Hubble telescope round at the Earth and hopefully it's not actually on a plane flying around the Earth that's actually in space. They turn it around and they they point it at Earth in real time. That's the only way. It's gonna take put... ages. Do you know how far why away that is? Take... Why would they put? Why would... why would it take ages? There's apparently they're saying that the Hubble telescope is actually on a plane flying around the Earth. It's not actually in space at all. No, people have gone up to fucking fix it for Christ's sake. People have gone up into space, up to the space station, and then fixed telescopes. Or is that the space station? Is it really? Um, yeah, you can see the space station from Earth, mate. Like, I was watching a documentary last night about... So you're... Well, hang on, so now, not only are you saying the Earth is flat, you're what? saying the space station don't exist. Well, I don't know. Mate, the, the, you've, there are countless videos of science experiments from the space station that cannot be replicated on Earth. Can it? Well, they've got mo like blobs of water, and what water looks like in uh, in space. Now you've got those those zero g planes, but that's only for a few seconds. There's no way you can make like an half an hour video seamlessly where this water is floating around in space. Well, let me let me tell you something, right? I was watching YouTube 
video last night, it's actually a little documentary, about what they said when they went up to the moon. And they said when they went to the moon, the whole sky was black. They couldn't see no stars at all. Now, on the space station, a guy turned around and said, oh, hang on a minute, when the, when it is the, the sun is out, you can actually see all the stars in the sky. Now, who's lying here? Are the astronauts back when they went to the moon lying, or are they the people on the space station lying? Now, can you see the stars when the sun is out, or can you not see the stars? From Earth, well, you can't. It's the truth. No you, no, you can't when it's in the daylight, but they're saying that you can from their perspective. Yeah. But the astronauts saying when they was on the moon, the sun was light on the moon, but you couldn't see the stars at all. It was completely black. Yeah, but, but the people in the space station are saying that they could see the stars. Right, well, hang on. well, you're getting confused here, right? First, from I'm Earth. I'm not getting confused. No, but you, you, you've, you've got three different perspectives going on. You've got people from Earth, right? Now, we can only see the stars at night when the sun, when you can't see the sun, right? Because of the amount of light. The people on the space station, they've got no visors on because they're inside a space station looking out a window, right? Presumably. And they're yeah. sort of spacewalk. Right, so then they've not got um, things like the people on the moon have visors, Dan. Yeah, you don't know where tinted that might be. They, you know, it might be like sunglasses they can't see. And the only light you get on the moon is reflected from the sun. So imagine all that light being reflected by the sun. So you've got the sun beaming down on you as it is. Then it's making all the sand glow. Yeah, all the moon rock glow because you know that's how the moon gets its light, doesn't it? It don't em it don't emanate its own light. It's all reflected. So you've got that glowing up, as well as the sun beaming down. It's quite a lot of light, and you've got a visor on. You ain't going to be able to see nothing in the sky. If they went to the dark side of the moon, freeze to death, they'd probably see all the fucking stars. Well, uh, I don't really know the truth, to be honest. Someone's lying. Light, they light is a oh. weird thing, mate. Light is it's a very... You know, there are people that spend their whole lives studying light and physics and stuff like that, and they still don't understand it. Well, one day the truth happens to come out. It'll come out sometime, won't it? Well, not necessarily. The only time it'll come out is if when space travel is commercialised and people can just go to the moon or Mars for a day or something. And then you just get... Oh, I don't want to believe all this shit because if the Earth was flat, then there has to be some kind of creator. Why would you, you know, why would we be on a flat Earth? I mean, there has to be, if it's flat, there has to be a creator. Why? Why? Because apparently there's a dome above us, they're saying as well. That there's a firmament. Now, if there's a firmament of some sort, there must be some kind of a creator, right? Obviously, that's a, it's man-made. Well, someone made it. Not really. But why? Well, if something is that powerful to make something that that huge in you know if it's one solid dome no human could make that oh no no right. I'm talking about something higher because like look at the technology we're building stuff with you've got bricks and you've got panes of glass you can't fabricate a piece of glass big enough to go over the entire world yeah because right so you're not denying the world right let's say the world is flat but it's still the size it is yeah you've got all those countries it's not like they're made up even though you've not been to them, they still exist. Yeah, they're still there, right? So, so we get the we get the Earth, we flatten it out, and then you so you've got a manufacturer dome big enough to cover the Earth. So no one on Earth has well, made that. So some let's, guy let's say there is let's say there's a god or something that's made that. Why wouldn't he just make that dome, the the one that keeps us in, bigger? So like. The end of the galaxy, for example. So if we did get off of Earth and we did go into space, we go, oh, yeah, this is quite good, blah, 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 blah. But you can't get out of your galaxy. Well, they're, they're, they're basically, they're saying that there is no planets, there is no there is no universe. Who's saying? All these flat Earthers. But you can see the moon. You can see that from Earth. Well, some people are saying that's a hologram. I'm just what telling is producing? you. Uh, so you've got, you've got you've got a you've got a spiritually manufactured dome and a hologram. Ooh. Who's made the hologram? How's it powered? Well, they're, making it, 
They reckon it can't be a dome. They reckon it could be electromagnetic, some some guy said. But think of the power you're going to need to run that. What's it running on? Mystery, ain't it? Is it solar power from the sun? So what about the sun, then? you felt the temperature of the sun. You've seen the seasons change, yeah? Winter is coming out in the spring now. Flowers are blooming. Flowers, photosynthesis. They need UV light. So what is in the sky making that massive ball of gas? What is that? If there's no, know, if, if there's no planets, if there's no planets, yeah, and it's the moon's a hologram, what is the sun? What is it? A gas fire or something? All right. If all this, if all this is, isn't true, right? Then but you know why... the sun exists. Yeah, you know because it exists. it's up there. It's up there. So you, you know, know it. So, so right. It's there. So you know the sun. You can see but the sun. But they're saying, feel the sun. They're, but they're saying it's not how many miles, how many millions of miles away it is. What eighty-seven or someone said, sixty-seven miles. I'm not sure. Million miles. I don't. I don't really know the details. But they're, they're saying it's like three thousand miles away. What, so the sun's smaller and weaker then? Well, oh, no, be... they, they reckon the sun is like a spotlight. Like, it illuminate the area it travels in, and then once it goes, that's when it gets dark, and that's when the moon comes around. And they're saying the moon has its own light as well. That it's not reflected off the sun, that it actually has its own light itself. How? Don't know. But regards to, you know, the flat earth, I have my other theories as well. But it, what, what sense would it be for the government to lie about, uh, oh, the earth's actually flat, but let's make everyone believe it's round. What benefit is there? What, to what end? It's not like we're all jumping off the planet going somewhere else. Or we've got to keep them in. Yeah, it's what? But my solid opinion, which I don't think is ever going to change, is the Earth is round. And the problem is we can't prove it either way unless we both go in a fucking rocket and fuck off and come back down again. <laughs> go up and go, oh, yeah, all right then. But then, but then you'd be, we'd be so close to it, you go, well, how do I know that's round? That might just be a big flat disc I'm looking at. Because, you know, you're, you're on a disc and you've gone straight up and you're looking straight back down and you're just going to see a big round disc, aren't you? Unless you start going around, you go, oh, yeah, hang on a minute, the Earth's only this fat. And, well, unless you go out a bit further. Well, no, because from every perspective, like the moon, how do I know the moon is round and isn't just a flat disc? I can't see the sides of it. Can you? Yeah. And it doesn't matter how far away I go. And it doesn't spin either. No, it don't. And it doesn't matter how far away I go from the moon, it's still just going to look like a circle. Nothing is going to prove that it's a, it's a round ball. Unless I can move around it quickly and see every fucking side of it. Which I can't. I can't just go, here's the moon. Oh, yeah. L literally like this. Like, here's the moon, right? It literally is a moon. I can't go, oh, yeah, the moon is, is clearly round. Is that a moon? That is a moon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> a real... <laughs> oh, for where the hell did you pull that out? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, get out of the moon. Here's the moon! <laughs> Bring down to Mars and to Jupiter. See, the way I know the Earth's around, in my mind, because of seasons and light and days and night cycles, yeah? That's not going to be easy to replicate without something going around something. Let's say this is the Earth. My phone's the Earth. It's flat. We're living on the top, yeah? It, let's say that was the sun. It's the moon, but it's not. Sun's beaming down, yeah? And there you go. Now, now it's night time, right? Now, now the sun's underneath the earth, so it's black for everyone. But we know full well, people in Australia, it's daytime. We know that. Do you agree to that? Yeah, but that that can he, can, how could that be possible in a flat earth map as well? Well, it can't, because look, if I had a light... Oh, can, because, because, say, say the yeah, sun... I've got the light there, on, right? <laughs> there, and it's going around like this, ain't it? It's, it's circling us. What, that way? I like that. Well, we're there. We're yeah. there, and and the sun is going. Oh well, no, the sun. The sun's there. Sorry, and we're going round that. That's 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 that theory. But what about the flat Earth theory? Well, if the Earth was flat. Yeah. Well, it depends where we are on the sun. If we're flat with the sun, 
And we go around the sun. Oh, no, no. They're saying that they're saying that the, the, the sun is going around us. The sun ain't as big. So that's as the... if... But how but how is it going around? What this way around? Yeah, like that. So then it's always daylight, mate. Because No. Because the sun acts like a spotlight. It, the sun only illuminates this, this area as, it, as it's going around. It's not as big, they're saying, as, as everyone so thinks it is. So like this then. Let's pretend that's the sun and all of it's light. And the tip there is the tip of the spotlight. So there it's light in the back of the phone. Right? I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And then as it moves around, it's, now it's dark over there and it's light over here. Is that what you mean? Yeah, and that's when the moon comes around. So it's like... Uh, like that. As it goes round the uh, round the earth, if that makes sense. How is it moving? Huh? How does it move? How does the sun move around us? What's moving it? Mechanically? No, no. Who knows? No one knows. Magnetically? If it's true or not, but it's called gravity. Yeah, but gravity wouldn't exist, would it? If um, if it's flat, because everything's gonna fall to the ground anyway, right? Well, only by gravity. Gravity still needs to exist if it's flat, doesn't it? Now the sun could just be somehow hovering above us and floating and moving. Um, no, you're, miss you're missing physics out. You completely, you've completely disregarded physics entirely. You're saying there's no gravity because everything's going to fall down anyway. But yeah, the only, because the, the only thing that makes it fall down, yeah, but the only thing that makes stuff fall down is gravity. So there has to be gravity. <laughs> and that okay. gravity, the gravity would move the sun. But it doesn't work like that because. <laughs> Anyway, you're starting to annoy me now. Can we end this discussion? But I'm not annoying anyone. Gravity you pulls are, in you equal gravity, not, yeah. gravity pulls in equal directions towards the centre of a mass. <laughs> That's why I figured round.